Hello everybody, this is Dreaming of Earth to continue with the second trial. So we've got our next nine combatants coming up, and let's see if we'll be in for more surprises, because part one certainly surprised me, you guys underestimated you guys. So let's see if anyone else can ha enjoy a 3 nil success. Right, representing Khan, we have an Afrobini. It's going to be an interesting one to see how this guy feels. They did pass the first trial, so the pressure's kind of off for you, but they'll want to get as many points as possible. Give themselves a good seeding going into that last 16. Taking on the Afrovenator, we got the dinosaur that a lot of people don't really like for some reason, Achillosaurus. Not sure why people give this dinosaur so much hate. What did it do to deserve it? I mean, come on, what specifically did it do? Nothing. And yeah, it's warning type, so if moves flash up like that, that is why. Good start there from the Afrovenate. They're getting a crit on the board. Don't want this to be raw. That's a tie. A good start here from Kai. Ooh, but the um, Achillosaurus does get a dino swing. Responding with his first attack of the match. Ooh, Dino Illusion. A Dino Illusion could really help you. Oh, hello, we got a Lightning Axe. Extra damage dealt. That was a big hit there. A Throwmanate that sustained a lot of damage. But he's got the protection of Dino Illusion and he's gonna need it here. Hmm. Not looking good for Kai after a promising start. This is not looking good. Needs to get a hit on the board. Needs to get this hit here. Okay, tie. That doesn't really help. Oh, it's a fail. Unfortunately, the Achillosaur has proven too strong. Alright, now at least Kai has a justifiable reason to dislike this dinosaur. Because it kicked his ass. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately for Kai, that is going to be no points from this second trial. They did pass the first trial, but they're going to have to get at least two points in the third trial to have any chance of qualifying for that last 16. Okie dokie. Representing Shy Guy, we have got a Pachycephalosaurus. Hmm, well we saw what the Deinonychus can do in part one. So we'll see how this... how this do do. <laughs> Who do do does? And yes, they pick Team Six like everybody else. So taking them on is the end Sterns. Shy Guy was unsuccessful in the first trial, but did pick up two points. So do need, does need to get some points on the board. And well, unless they pass this trial, they're going to have to succeed in trial three anyway. Ooh, good start, good start. Is this a power drain? Yes, it is. But then click in time. Blom, nom, nom. <laughs> I like how, how big of a gate the Pachycephalosaurus has for a herbivore. It's got a massive gate. It's bigger than a crocodile's. Ooh, oh, softening beams. Always pretty lag to emulate that. Terrible move. Lillian Sternus is genetic makeup is being analysed there. And this is a very good start from Shy Guy. One hit will probably do it. And in fact, a tie will probably do it. But they finish with a crit. Well, that's two points secured for the Shy Guy. Coming in, coming in next, we got a Nodosaurus. This Nodosaurus, well, we... I mean, well, we never see this guy in my tournaments at all. Wonder why? I mean, it's just... I think, I think it's just a meh dinosaur, you know? It's not, like, amazing, but it's not terrible. It's just a meh. <laughs> Will it be a match for this Pachycephalosaurus? Okay, that's a tie. I think this uh, Pachycephalosaurus is tied up. Oh, as a secret move, it's a laser ray. Things looking good for Shy Guy. 
Ugh, taste the rainbow. Oh, look at that. Decent damage done. Shy guy looking really strong here. A softening beam. Ooh, will Shy guy actually do it? Oh, he freaking killed it! Well, it was well on now. The 3 nil is definitely on. Right. Last, lastly, we have got a Sir Boniface. Haven't seen too much of this guy in action, mainly because he's been dying. Cat Pachycephalosaurus finished the job. Well, we, we're on a level playing field now. So it's possible, it's possible. But knowing this random number generator like I do, it's only a matter of time till the Sorolophus gets hit. A softening beam coming in. Because this, um, this team hasn't got a hit yet, so I'm fully expecting Sorolophus to get some hits here. Okay, it's a tie, but look at that. The softening beam making an impact. Oh, it's a crit! I said it, didn't I? The Zerolophus getting a crit. Katmakazi tackle. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I said it. It's only a matter of time. Oh, it's a tie. Time suit the Pachycephalosaurus, sir. Oh, no! Unfortunately for Shy Guy, it's not the 3 nil. They came agonizingly close, but like I said, I said it, didn't I? Only a matter of time till the Sorolophus got hits. And unfortunately, those hits were crits. Commiserations to Shy Guy there, but hey, you got four points out of this trial. You got six points. Okay, representing Xenu Slit Goku in this second trial, as you can see, we have Chomp. Xeno does need to get at least two points from this trial. Otherwise, that will he will have very little chance of qualifying for the last 16. Well, I say little, he'll have no chance because he won't meet the requirements. Unless it's like a big long tie or like less than 16 combatants meet the requirements. But based on the first trial, I'm pretty confident in saying that at least 16 of you are going to meet the requirements. Taking on Chomp, we got the Patagosaurus. Patriosaurus will have tight disadvantage against Chomp, but a crit is still a threat. Can Zeno get... Well, they just need at least two points and then hope they pass the third trial. Or they could just pass this trial. You know, it's not, it's not like this... It's not like no one's passed this trial, is it? <laughs> Badoosh! I, I'm like Gandalf, okay? I'm like Gandalf in this trial. It's like, you shall not pass, and then the first person passes. Good hit there. Electric charge attack boost combo activated. Oh no, there's lightning axe. Never mind. Ooh, I was close. I almost clicked scissors then. <laughs> well, it didn't matter. It was a tie anyway. Ooh, Chomp looking good though. Getting another hit. The type advantage is going to increase the damage as, as well. As well, attack boost. That attack boost is maxed up now. And this lightning axe will finish the job. Oof. Could breathe some relief now, Zeno. You got two points out of this trial. That's all you needed. Of course, you want to get more because, you know, if you get a higher seed in, you'll get a, on paper, easier matchup in the last 16. Right, coming in next, we've got Carifosaurus. The pain in the ass was the pain in the ass dinosaur. The dinosaur that actually has very similar colorings to Isosaurus. That's one thing I took note of when I uh, made this guy for Evolution 2. And yes, I've made Carifosaurus for Evolution 2, and you will see it very soon. When I get around to recording the video. <laughs> okay, this should be, yeah, Electric Charge. I'm not sure if Lightning Axe... Like, has a uh, cap on how many times you can get it off. Because I know Electric Charge does. Well, cap or not. Ooh, that's a crit. I think this guy's counter-type as well. Oh, that's going to do a lot of damage. 
chomp's gonna take a beat in you. Oh, look at that! Yeah, that's that's counter type for you. Ooh, but Chomp does get a response, gets a hit on the board. Remember, he's buffed up with the attack boost and the electric charge, and there's the lightning axe! Wow, lightning axe! Playing his part in this session really well. Right, coming in third, we've got a side chain. Yeah, I, I don't know, maybe with the attack and electric charge buff, maybe Chomp can do this. Of course, one hit from this Cychania will end this trial. But I'd say they got four points. I think, should it stay at four, I think it's still been a successful trial for Zeno. It's a tie. And that tie will do it. Oh, it won't. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, yeah, that wasn't much damage. <laughs> I thought I'd do a bit more damage now. I think this Chomp is not Super Crisis type. I think it's Strength type. Oh, no, no. Unfortunately, Chomp just ran out of steam in the end. A valiant effort from uh, Zeno there. Got four points from the trial. Okay, representing the P-Var for this second trial, we got Ampler Swords. <laughs> The Pivar does need to get at least two points from this trial to give themselves a chance of qualifying for that last 16 round. So in the same boat as Zeno. And while Zeno responded quite well. Taking on the Ampelosaurus, we got Pinotosaurus. The yellow the yellow earth dinosaur that nobody talks about. Most people don't even acknowledge its existence in this game. Hmm, this is interesting because we had a similar scenario with dino fans using a water dinosaur against this against this team. Unlike that scenario, Pinocosaurus got off the first hit. And we all know how that ended. Hmm. Although an earth barrier will make things complicated for Pivar. Oh, there's another hit! Not a good, not the, a nightmare start for the Piva. Ampelosaurus, well, it needs to eat up the earth barrier as well. Oh, this is not good. This is really not good. Okay, okay, there's a hit on the board. A tie bomb. Earth, eat up that earth barrier, but really needs a crit to get back in this contest. And quick. Okay, another hit, another tie bomb. Those tie bombs do stack up. Piva coming back into this. Oh, well, a crit would be brilliant right now, and a crit is what he gets. And a crit block to come. That probably guarantees that Pinotosaurus will go down, whether it's via this crit or via the next hit. And it's via the crit. Oof, well. Bit of relief there from Piva, because I did look a bit I did look a bit hairy there. That could have gone wrong so easily. But fortunately for the Piva, it didn't. And they got the two points secured. That's all they needed to get to have any chance again to that last 16. That's all they needed was two points. And they got them. But can they get more? Ampelosaurus is on a run right now. It's got the momentum. Can he get more points? Ooh, that's a hit. That's a bite in win. I don't think this is going to be lethal, but it's going to be close. Oh, look at that. Hanging on by a thread. And yet that tile will do it. Ampelosaurus goes down. But at least the Pivar got two points from this trial. So yes, they didn't pass this trial. It does mean they're going to have to succeed in the third trial. Okie dokie, representing Ooh for this trial, we have got a Deinonychus. Well, we've already seen one Deinonychus win 3-0. Will we see another one? What's interesting about this Deinonychus, though, is it has the same moveset the Dino Smash used, 
in my previous tournament. The war the boost move, so we'll see how that works. Standing in the Deinonychus's way. We got the we got the dino from down under, the Metaverosaurus. Looking to tear thy Deinonychus asunder. Ah, do you remember who remembers that song? I come from a land down under. Do, 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 do. We should just have that when the Muttaborosaurus enters the uh, fray. <laughs> Actually, I will say, someone in the Dinosaur King community has figured out how to remove the, the uh, in-game music for me. Well, it's not for me, for them, but, you know. They're going to teach it to me. Hopefully, they'll do a tutorial. So, yeah. Prepare for some epic music intros for these guys. Because I've got a lot in my head planned. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's something I've wanted to do for ages. I never really got it right. Right, back to the fight though. And that was a very good start from... Ooh, Ooh but a crit though. A crit makes things complicated. The defense boost will limit the damage though. Metal wing. It was a good start from Ur, but they're not getting not getting hit now. The Dino from down under, looking to plunder away some more HP from the Dynamicus. Ooh, what a crit! A very welcome crit there from the Dynamicus. Will that give Ur the two points that they actually need? I did forget. I forget them. I forgot to mention that. Who did need to get something out of this trial because they didn't get anything from the first trial. But they did put they have got two points, so they've given themselves a chance. Of getting into that last 16 bracket. They were rather underwhelming in the group in my last tournament. Right. Coming in next, we got Rajasaurus. Raj the Madge from India. Well, you can't really call that thing a Rajasaurus, can you? I just call it a freak show, because that's what, that's what it is. And yeah, there it is. Down goes the Deinonychus, but it did its job. Ooh, at least got two points from this trial, which at least gives him a fighting chance. Right then. Representing Dino Hunter, we have Lanzusaurus. Dino Hunter safely qualified for the last 16 already by passing the first trial. But we'll want to see if they can rack up some points in this second trial. Won't be easy though. This Lily and Sturness will have tight advantage. So it won't be easy for Dino Hunter. But let's see how this Lanzusaurus does. Ooh, get a crit on the board. Just the start, Dino Hunter would want a tappy, a, tu a tuku for a dive to come. Whoosh, whoosh. I will say, if he can get past this Lydian Stu. Jeez, that was a lot of damage. Type advantage, you're having a laugh. <laughs> Type advantage, you're having a laugh. Type advantage, you're having a laugh. <laughs> Oh, look at this! Dino Hunter getting it done. Getting the two points right away. Boosh! Right, on to the next dino, which is a Nodosaurus. From tight disadvantage to tight advantage. Can Dino Hunter take advantage of the tight advantage, though? But if he can, then he'll set him up nicely to get the, to get near the top seed in for the last 16. Especially given that Nirvan came away empty-handed as well. So as it stands, I think Dino Hunter is above Nirvan in the table. Ooh, but Nodosaurus responds with an earthquake. He's going to shake things up a bit. Well, only a little bit, because the Lanzosaurus won't take too much damage. Yeah, Light Recovery will probably heal all that back up in no time. And a Light Recovery is what's going to happen. Badoosh. 
Let's have a look. Okay. 75%, we'll say. Still, not too bad. Ooh, a Nodosaur, so again, a stomping hammer on the board. This will do a bit more damage than the Earthquake did. Um. Well, despite the type advantage, Dino Hunt is not really getting going at the minute. Bit stuttery. Got past the Lily End Stern is easy, but Nodosaur has proven to be a bit of a challenge. One hit will do it for the node. Oh, it's a tie. Can Dino Hunter somehow kill this Nodosaurus? Oh, he gets a hit. Light recovery will help, as will that. A crit from the Lazusaurus will give Dino Hunter another two points from this trial. But can they get that crit? Oh, he's not going for it. Oh, it's a tie! The light recovery proving crucial. Oh, it's another hit! Is this gonna kill the Nodosaurus? Oh, he's done it! He's down the Nodosaurus! That's four points from this trial. Because I doubt he's getting nine. Right, coming in next, we got. Well, coming in last, we got a Sauropus. Sorolophus, we've seen it a few times already. It's usually been the finisher. And it's probably going to be the finisher here. The odds are well in its favour. All it needs is a tie and it'll finish the Lanzusaurus off. Ooh. But Lanzusaurus getting a hit on the board. Is Dino Hunter going to win 3 now? Oh, he might, he might. A metal wing could do it. Oh, nope, there it is. <laughs> Sorolophus letting the Lanzusaurus get off a few cheap shots to give Dino Hunter some hope, only to crush it in the end with Stun Dash. But you tell you what, four points from this trial, a valiant effort from Dino Hunter. Well done. Okay, representing Witch Oak Fox for this second trial, we have got a Gygus with the Spectral Armour. Yes, didn't... Well, they really struggled in the first trial with the Alpha Arano. It just didn't stand a chance against the, the Sejuangasaurus. But I feel like they're going to fare better in this trial. And in fact, looking at their team, it seems they put more into succeeding in this trial and the third trial. And well, they're going to have to get at least two points from this trial to get... To give themselves a chance of getting into that last 16. And with the type advantage over this Lillian Sternus, they're probably going to have a good chance of getting those two points. Oop, we start with a tie. Ooh, Gygus gets the first crit on the board. A tiebreaker coming in as well. That will definitely help Witch o Foz. And that's a very good start. Tiebreaker's playing in. And that bar is filling up as well. Take note. Take note of that. The bar's filling up. Well, look at that. We could see Spectral Armor right away. That's a tie. Oh, I better get a code ready. Well, for the first time in these trials, we're going to see some spectral armor. Oh my god, this would be such a waste if Geigers gets a hit here. Ooh, that's a tie, and that's exactly what Witch of Foz wants, because now Geigers has a free shot at this Nodosaurus. And Witch of Foz gets the two points they needed. Uh, we'll skip this since we've already seen this guy in this session. Wow, this could be a big moment for Witch of Foz here. If they get the Spectral Lancer off, they'll be in a very strong position to get a 3 0 win. Oh, it's a tie! Can they do it? 
That's another tie. Oh, this is nail biting. The Nodosaurus needs at least like two hits to kill the Gigas. And there's the Spectral Lancer. This could be massive for Witcho Falls. Surely this will be another two points secured, which will take their total to four from this trial. Oh, I survived! Wow. The Spectral Lancer's not enough! The Nodosaurus, the resilient little tanks, survived! Yeah. Alright, well, it didn't survive that. <laughs> wow. I think that shocked everybody. But Gigas does finish it off in the end. And now it's all on to Sorolophus. And like I said, Witchel Foz has a very good chance here of getting a 3-0 win and getting a massive 9 points. That's a hit. Look at the, the bars filling up as well. We might see Spectral Answer again. Maybe not. Oh, it's full! It's all on this. Can he do it? Oh, it's a crit! Oh, is that going to kill Gigas? The voice went high. Oh, I killed Gigas! Agony for Witch o Foz. One hit away from the free nail. But the Sorolophus gets a crit. Right then, representing Tyrant King here in this in this trial, we got Salty Saurus. Hmm. Don't know how he's gonna fear in this trial. This could be very interesting because this Achillosaurus will have type advantage, so. Hmm. I don't know if he's gonna do well if they're gonna do well in this trial. But you never know. You never know. Watch him win 3-0 now. No, let's be honest. Let's be honest. If he wins 3-0, I'll just stop. I'll just declare him the winner of the whole tournament. Oh, I'm going to be eating my words. I take that back. Oh, that's not a good start. Yeah, look at that. I'll take advantage of the absolute killer. Luckily for Tyrant King, though, he... He doesn't have to pass this trial because he already done the first one quite convincingly but could do with two points here to guarantee that that they uh, fulfill the minimum requirements to get the last 16 oof no lightning axe there the Sopasaurus clings on nope nope down it goes wow Tyrant King Made in the mold in the mincemeat by the Achillosaurus. Oh, it was quick, wasn't it? Yeah, so unfortunately for Tyrant King, it is an unsuccessful trial too. No points. But they did do the first trial, but they're going to have to get at least two points from the third trial to have any chance of getting in that last 16. Right then, representing Adi Rex for this second trail, we have got a Pro Sorolophus. I was about to say Sorolophus. Nope, we got Pro Sorolophus. It's like a Baba Sorolophus. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. Because this Pro Sorolophus will initially have tight disadvantage against this Lillian Sterns. So, a similar scenario to what Dino Hunter was in, in the um, earlier. But, if she can get past this Lillian Sternus, the Nodosaurus, the, that Pro Sorolophus will have type advantage over the Nodosaurus, so... This could go two ways here. And, well, for Addy's sake, it needs to go in, in a positive way. Because she didn't get any points from the first trial, so she has to get at least two points here. Otherwise, her hopes of getting into that last 16 are pretty much over. Ooh, a crit. A welcome crit there. And this fair play has been a good start from Addy. A nature's blessing as well. I actually forgot what moves this guy has. 
Oh, he looked to the moveset about two minutes ago. Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> oh, well, at least the tie will do it. Let's see if I flick up. Okay, now I remember. It's a very heel-based moveset. Oof. Well, that's the two points secured. Addy off the mark. Right, actually, actually, we should skip this because we've seen this team loads of times in this session. Right, coming in next, we've got Nodasaurus. And with Pro's roll as a full health, good opportunity here for Addy to get another two points. Oh, not with a start like that. Oh, okay, didn't do too much damage. That was crept. My Nodasaurus is weak. Oh, that's not good. Well, it's got the heal move, so... I got Emerald Garden trigger. That could definitely help. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, and it was going so well. <laughs> it was going... Oh, hang on, no. This is Earthquake. The Protoss Office should survive this. But Addy's going to have to get the next hit here. Ooh. Come on, Addy. The odds are against her, but can she do it? Can she get a hit? Oh, no! Well, at least they got two points, so... Well, they were always going to have to pass the third trial anyway. The minimum they needed was two points, and they got the two points. But unfortunately, that's all she'll be getting. And that will conclude this session. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for part three. And until then, ta-ta! Mm -hmm.